Hey, this is Raina. Thank you for joining me on my crochet channel. I've been wanting to make a gift bag for a while now and um, here it is just in time for Mother's Day. And uh, this bag is special because I made it with hemp yarn. So it doesn't have to be hemp, it can be uh, regular yarn as well. But that's the choice. And this one is uh, small. It will fit this uh, 3.5 inch uh, uh, jewelry box. The back itself measures about 5 inches wide and about 5.5 inches long. And it's easy to make a bigger bag just by adding rounds and also I will uh, explain the pattern uh, it's a multiple of eight so you can also make it wider and uh, I found these uh, nice charms to embellish my bags so another option here I heard gold accents are fashion in fashion this spring so how about just uh, tying a gold golden bow here. And also want to show you how I made a bigger bag just by using bigger size of yarn. So this one is Peyton's Hamster. It is a size 3, lightweight, and I use crochet hook size 4, the color Ecru. So, and this bag now fits this uh, small gift book. And let's see, it is about six and a half inches wide and seven inches long and uh, just added one more round to make it longer otherwise exactly the same count of stitches and this is the hemp yarn that I'm using it is uh, made in Italy uh, called Lang Canapa um, I checked uh, it's available online on a few websites I got it from my local craft store and this is quite small um, looks like it has 25 grams 80 meters and I'm using the whole ball for the one gift bag and it the label doesn't say but I would say it's the the yarn size is uh, fine uh, size 2 and for this size of yarn I'm using 2.75 millimeter hook and we start with the base make a slip knot and first uh, chain 33 And we're going to make two rounds of the base and by the end of the second round uh, we're going to have an um, amount of stitches um, that divides by eight because that the pattern is a multiple of eight so I'm gonna have 72 but for now the first round go into that second chain from hook skip this and single crochet three in it two and three and now start single crocheting one in each chain and count uh, 30 here so I did two three four I did 30 single crochet so it's funny how this curls up here in the first round and after 30 here I have one more chain left and in this last one again make three single crochets 
two and three and now we're going to single crochet on the other side of that chain these uh, inserting hook through these loops here and again make 31 two you can keep the tail inside the stitches so don't have to weave in later three and after 30 stitches i'm back to the beginning here this is where i did my three single crochets i'm going to now slip stitch in that first one and then start the second round and chain one and now we're going to add six stitches so the first round has total of uh, 66 so three here then 30 on both sides so 60 total and three on the other side 66 and we're adding six more so we have total 72 which divides by eight and to do that in that first stitch that I just slip stitched chain one I'm going to make two single crochets in here and in that next one also make two and in that third one also two so now we have six here and then one in each next again you have 30 and in these next three stitches we did here uh, make two in each so one two one two One, two so also we have six now here and on the other side make 30 so when you count you have total 72 in round two and going to finish with a slip stitch in this uh, first stitch and from here we're going to start the pattern and first uh, chain two and this counts as first half double crochet stitch in the next stitch make also half double crochet so two now uh, get ready to make uh, <clears throat> two double crochets but uh need to skip here two stitches so this one this one going to the next make two double crochet crochets one two chain two and go in the next stitch make two double crochets so this is the shell now skip again two stitches one two and make half double crochet in the next and also half double crochet in the next so this is the repeat for the first round again skip two one two in the next stitch make two double crochets one two chain two and now not in the same but next stitch make two double crochets skip two one two and half double crochet one in the next and also one in the next skip two two double crochets two chains in the next stitch two double crochets skip two stitches and half make two half double crochets I 
worked all around and here made last two double crochets here are my last two stitches to skip one two and here is the beginning two chains so i'm going to end this round with a slip stitch in that second chain and now the next round is the one that's going to repeat all the way up so i'm going to start with one chain and now we need to do two front post double crochets so for this yarn over and now insert your hook from front to back on the right side this is that beginning chain right side come back up on the left side yarn over pull a loop through I have three loops yarn over pull through first two loops yarn over pull through next two loops and the second one same yarn over insert your hook from front to back on the right side come back up on the left side of this half double crochet post yarn over and pull up a loop yarn over pull through first two loops yarn over pull through next two loops front post double crochets and now find that two chain space we made here between double crochets and we're going to make that shell in that space so double two double crochets one and two then two chains two more double crochets in the same space these first few rounds can be tricky because we're just starting to form the back the more you add the rounds it's easier it's gonna be easier now again after the shell two front post double crochets around the post of these next two half double crochets and a second over And now the shell in that two chain space two double crochets two chains two double crochets and again front post double crochets around these half double crochets so first and second And again the shell repeat this now all around we'll finish the round together and here now to finish this is the beginning the first front post I did front post double crochet I'm going to insert my hook through these upper loops and slip stitch And now the third round of pattern and it's actually more correct to say that this third round is going to repeat all the way up i'll show you how so we start the same with one chain and now we're going to make front post double crochets around the posts of front post on previous round that's the difference before we did uh, around the post of half double crochets but from now on front post go around front post on previous round and the first one goes around this 
I see this is here's the chain I'm going to insert my hook from front to back around this whole thing come back up here pull up a loop and then finish that front post so and the next one here two front posts then repeat to the shell in the next two chain space and front post double crochets so here are the ones on previous rounds and over insert hook around the post from front to back to front again yarn over pull up loop and finish and the second one same next is the shell And again, two front posts, double crochets first. Second. And again, the shell. And here at the end finished uh, did my last two double crochets here is the beginning front post inserting hook through these upper loops and making slip stitch and then start the same chain one to the front post around all of this here so yarn over insert hook here through this space come back up here on the other side yarn over and then the second one here and then the shell so now uh, repeat this pattern and make as many rounds um, as you uh, need for the gift so you can adjust the size, the length. Uh, I'm going to make this uh, one ball makes about 14 rounds of the pattern. And then we'll meet back to make the edge and handles. And I finished uh, 14 rounds of the pattern. And now we have just three more rounds to do uh, the edge and handles. And so here I slip stitched in that beginning uh, front post stitch and um, so the first round of edge starts with two chains and this is the first um, half double crochet and now half double crochet also in that next stitch that next front post stitch and now in this these double crochet stitches we'll do single crochet one two then also single crochet in that next two chain space one and single crochet in next two double crochets one two and here in these front post stitches we'll we'll do half double crochets because they're a bit lower so to even it up half double crochet one in each again single crochet in both double crochets single crochet in two chain space 
then again in next two double crochets now half double crochet in both next two stitches and repeat this all around and here in the beginning here I'm going to slip stitch in that second beginning chain to finish this round and on the second round we're going to um, start the handles too so first chain one and single crochet in that same space stitch now also need to single crochet in that next stitch next half double crochet stitch and then one in each next two make total of uh, 12 here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve and here now chain 20 for the first handle five and because we ended up with a uh, odd number of stitches on the first round uh, we're going to skip here for the first handle 13 stitches and for the second handle we skip 14 stitches so count 13 starting with that next unworked stitch which is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14th, make a single crochet, and now make 18 stitches here, 3, 4, 5, and now I'm on the other side, and again, chain 20 for the second handle and now I'm going to count 14 here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 and single crochet in that next And now we will make six, two, three, four, five, and six. Because we started with 12, so we have a total of 18 here, just like on the other side. And slip stitch now in that first beginning stitch. And the last round is easy just single crochet one in each stitch and one in each chain so first chain one single crochet in same stitch now in all these next stitches and also making stitches in each chain so inserting hook through that chain not not under the space but in each chain and make a single crochet so we have 20 here and then keep single crocheting here in 18 stitches and then in each 20 chains of the second handle and you finish with six single crochet stitches here and finished all my stitches here of course uh, you're welcome to add another round if you want the handles to be wider i just like them to be uh, fine like this and i'm just going to now slip stitch in the first stitch and ready to cut off fasten off and just weave in the ends 
And now there are all these different options to uh, decorate the bag. Uh, use a ribbon and make a nice bow. Or I found these nice charms in my treasure box. And because um, gold elements are in fashion right now, I'm going to stitch this one here in front. It's going to make it very fancy. And I hope you have fun making your own uh, gift bag. Uh, as I said, it's easy to adjust the size to fit your uh, gift. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, you'll find written pattern on my blog. And thank you so much for watching. Happy crocheting!